Now that the whole world is at a standstill, that unfortunately means that the pageant world is also at a standstill. There are no pageants happening. There's not much to really talk about. So that got me thinking about one of my favorite pageants in the world, and that is, of course, Miss South Africa, and how amazing we've been doing over the past few years. And just like why has there been this resurgence of South African beauty pageants, especially at the Miss World and the Miss Universe pageants. And of course, it's because the women are amazing and they're incredible, but there's also the team that works behind them and the director that works behind them. And so this video focuses on a man named Werner Vessels who works very closely with the Miss South Africa pageant. He's basically the pageant director. And this is just about how he got into this business and why he has such a winning formula. And Werner Vessels himself will admit that working in pageants and being a pageant director was not necessarily his life ambition. I don't, he mentioned that he didn't think that was actually a real career, that he could actually make a real living out of it. It's just something that he enjoyed. He always loved watching the Miss South Africa pageant. He started watching it in 1993 when Jackie Mufu came one, and he's just been hooked on it like a lot of us have been. And um, he went to school with Miss South Africa 2011, Melinda Bum. And they work closely together in preparation of that page for that pageant. And obviously she won. And then she went on to compete at Miss Universe 2011, where she placed in the top 10. So that was a fantastic finish as well. And she was literally one of the most standout Miss South Africa's at that time. I remember thinking how beautiful she was. She was so, so beautiful. But when she spoke... Um, what made her amazing was that she was so eloquent and she seemed very sincere and she was really one of my favorite Miss South Africa's. Um, Miss South Africa's all, pageants in South Africa have always been taken seriously, especially the main pageant. And so we've had incredible winners for many years, way before Melinda Bam. I'm not trying to say that before that they weren't good. They were amazing Miss South Africa's. Um, Joanne Strauss. I loved um, Tansy could. Tansy, Kutsia, um, and now I'm going blank trying to remember the other ones, but there have been so many great, Tatum Keshwa, yeah, I was trying to remember 2009, Tatum Keshwa, there have been so many great in South Africa, so he just, you know, was a big fan like we all are, he worked with Melinda Bam, they went to high school together, through Melinda Bam, he met, he later on met Demi Lina Peters, and as I'm reading on this site, um, he also worked with um, Ro Rolene Strauss, of course, and she went on to win Miss World 2014. He coached Demi Lina Peters, and they they struck up a friendship, and um, they said that when she turns 21, that's when she'll be ready to win Miss South Africa. So before that, when she was at university, she entered the Miss uh, Varsity Cup. She won that. Or did she? Yeah, I think she did win that. Anyway, um, so he worked with Rolene Strauss. He worked with Ntando Kunene, 2000 and she was 2016. He worked with Lisa Lowry, she was 2015. She became Miss World Africa, or Miss Africa World. So that was a really big deal. And then he worked with um, Marilyn Ramos as well. Uh, so what he does is he helps these contestants get into the best shape physically and mentally for the pageant. They need support. You don't just go to international pageants and just do your thing because you have a pretty face and you speak well. You need to be coached. You need to be ready. You need to make wise decisions with what you wear and how you style your hair and how you speak. And Verna is part of the team that conducts that and that helps the women get ready for these pageants in all those different he areas. Says, when it comes to pageantry, I consider myself more of a trainer or a coach. In his everyday career, he's a stylist, so he's in charge of styling. So he is in charge of, for example, going to Miss Universe. He as input in the dress that the girl will wear, the evening gown, the national costume, which is one of my favorite parts, and 
I'm obsessed with the Demi Lee Nile Peters National Costume from 2017. He says, and I love this quote, you have to empower each of the finalists to be the best they can be and to highlight what makes them special. And I think that's so true. So he's not changing them. He's not making them someone else, but he's making, he's helping them reveal who they truly are and be confident in themselves. And I think that's just going to make this pageant even bigger go to next level get go to the next level and we're gonna win more titles we're gonna be one of the powerhouses in pageantry if we have this type of attitude of bringing out the best of these contestants and also not being afraid of taking risks with the type of women that we send to international pageants and the way that these pageants are run so i think he does such a great job and i'd like to see him being highlighted a little bit more i'm excited to see where the future is going for Miss South Africa. I'm also interested to see what's going to happen this year because I heard that Miss Universe, the Miss Universe pageant said that contest these, um, the local or the national pageants can send, for example, like the first runner up from the previous year's pageant or something like that, because a lot of countries will probably not be able to hold their pageants in time for Miss Universe, if Miss Universe even takes place. We don't know what's going to happen by the end of this year. Anything can happen. It's really unpredictable at this point. Um, so I want to, I'm, I'm curious to see how it's going to work out this year and if they'll take Sasha Lee to Miss Universe um, or if they'll quickly have something. I don't know. It all depends on the government and how this virus goes. But let me know what you guys think. Who are your favorite Miss Universe South Africans, Miss World South Africans of all time and why? And can you tell me why you think we have been doing so well in the pageant world of late? Until next time, remember to subscribe. Bye-bye.